So as you can see, the topic of the show today says the episode about decentering men. What does that mean? So this was something that I kind of came across on TikTok. And I fell into one of those TikTok rabbit holes. And I feel like it came at a time that was uh, appropriate for me. So the definition, based off of what I saw on TikTok in the video that I'm going to play today, when you hear the term decentering men, it's basically a woman finding her own motion that doesn't involve or surround men, right? And you'll hear this from two different perspectives. You'll hear this from the perspective of, I love men, I don't hate them. I'm still going to date, but I'm also decentering them because I have my own shit going on and my world does not revolve around them. But you also have the topic of decentering men where there are women that don't want to be involved with men at all. They're not dating. They're not courting. They're not trying to get married. They have their own motion and men have nothing to do with that. So you basically can take whichever lane it is that you want to take. Now, if you have been listening to me for any amount of time. Um, I think a few episodes I have mentioned that I was kind of in the space then where I didn't even think that I wanted to be married at all. Now, one thing you know about me, and I said this from episode one, is that I, huh? I was gonna start singing Carl Thomas. At all, at all, <laughs> even though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. A shout out to the background music provided by Cam Beats Corner today. Um, see, what was I saying? You said it twice. I couldn't help. You said you were thinking about not getting married. Oh, okay. I said that, right? And what I realized is that so I am a lover girl, right? And when I say that, I love everything about love. Even the corniest of things. Like I can watch the movie The Notebook over and over again and be so happy because it's just the cutest movie to me. And so when I say that, I mean, you know, the dating, the holding hands, the kissing, the hugging, seeing people like in love and relishing and like healthy relationships and marriages. I absolutely I'm all over it. I love it. Right. But I feel like because of what I've gone through in my past, I had just never really saw it as a possibility for me. And I took on the mindset of if you can't beat them, join them, right? And in that, I found that I was suppressing a lot of what my actual feelings were because it just didn't seem like a possibility for me as far as like marriage and even a relationship. I had began to build my whole life around me being very single and content. And when I say that, I mean like, son is getting ready to go off to college i am going to be a nomad and move from place to place travel the world and really indulge in things that only involve me for the first time in a very long time um but what i came to realize recently is that i was starting to get exhausted by my interactions with men and i'm not even gonna say was i would say it i i am um, and mainly because all of them are like lusty and not just not going anywhere. Right. And I'm realizing that it doesn't align with what I really want, but here I am suppressing what I really want. And I felt like I was kind of just like settling, you know, and it got so overwhelming to the point where now I'm like, everybody's gone. I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want a good morning, a good night. I don't want you to ask me what I'm doing. I don't want anything. If it's not going to where it, it needs to be, if the intention is not there, leave me the fuck alone.